Hello again everyone. In this video I'll walk you through setting up Focus to integrate with our online ordering solution and I'll also briefly explain what the fields that we're setting up actually mean and what they do. So the first thing let's start off by going to miscellaneous general and then selecting our online ordering tab. Now here's where we set up all the parameters for our online ordering solution within Focus. First thing you'll see is our active option. You'll want to make sure that's active so you can actually process online orders. The backup option actually keeps copies of all the online orders that have been processed. A processing station is similar to our email and event station. It's the station that's actually going to be processing the online orders. The receiving employee will simply be an employee that receives the orders online. It's important to note that this employee is set up with a job that has one of the following job rights. Ring own checks, ring others checks, tender own checks, or tender others checks. And they also have to have the job right transfer automatic pending. Alright, so our menu item exceptions is the menu item used for is used for reporting purposes if the menu ID or the price does not match the item ordered online. It is also used to capture any air conditions that may arise while processing the online order. It's important to have important to note that the variable price and the kitchen comment options are turned on on this menu item and also this item should not have any taxes associated with it. Similar a uh, similar item that we're also going to be set up is our menu item comments. The menu item comment is used to capture customer inner, inner comments for individual items as well as the entire check while they are placing the online order. Again, this item should have the variable price and the kitchen option, kitchen comment options turned on, and this item should also have no taxes associated with it. Neither one of these items should should be included in any order type menu items to charge filters as well. Now the price number is a, the field used for reporting purposes. The price of the menu item is always going to be determined by the online order, but if you specify a number other than zero, well this price will appear in the item count daily report if the totals by price option is turned on. It's a quick way to glance down your item count daily report, see what items are actually being sold online. Alright, so next thing we're going to set up is going to be a credit card payment in our credit card payment mapping field. What this allows us to do is associate a payment at the store level with an online credit card payment. Same goes holds true with our gift card payment mapping. We're going to set up a focus payment that will associate with a gift card payment used online. And the last fields we're going to be setting up is our order type mapping fields. Now our online order solution, we have three different types of online order types. We have takeout, we have dine-in, and delivery. We'll associate those with our focus order types that we're going to set up shortly. Okay, now that I've we've gone over what the fields are. Let's actually set one up. So the first thing I will do is set up a menu item. So I will just click add and I will call this online exception. I will make sure our kitchen comment and variable price options are turned on. Make sure there's no sales taxes associated with it. Now the printer group that you assign it to is going to be the printer group that the location prints to by default. Go ahead and hit save. We'll add our online comment. This works the same way. No taxes. We'll send it, set it to our same printer group and we'll have our options set up here. Go ahead and hit save and then close. So now we're done with our menu items. Let's actually set up an order type. So I'm going to go down to our order type field. And just to make everything consistent, I'm just going to call it online. 
and there are no order type computation methods so I'm just going to leave it at none make sure uh, for our example I'm not putting any order type charge taxes so it's pretty simple to set up I'm going to hit save and go ahead and hit close so now it's important that we set up a location so same thing I'm going to go down here go to our location I'm just going to name it online and our order type I will make it online as well make sure our taxes says sales tax so that ma matches up go ahead and hit save close all right now we need to set up our receiving employee but before we can set up an employee we just need to go to jobs and let's set up a new job first scroll down in here I will name this one uh, uh, our job is going to be online location will be online and now we have to do one of these job rights I was explaining earlier and we'll say we can ring own checks let's go ahead and turn that one on let's do transfer automatic pending let's just do a search for that and turn this one on save and close all right, so let's actually, now that we have the job set up, let's set up the actual employee. Online employee. Online E is good enough for me. Access code 8. And just make sure we have our job associated with online. And let's make sure all our options are blank. You really don't have to put anything else. Save and close. So now we need to map our payments there. So the next thing we do is go to order entry payments. Go over here and we'll call this one online credit. And to map our online credit payment, we're just going to set it to the type of account. We're going to leave all our options blank here and all our field options blank. Go ahead and save that guy. And let's set up an online gift card payment. So let's we'll call it online gift. And for the online gift mapping, we're just going to make it a gift certificate. And once again, all our options are going to be blank, and all our field options are going to be blank. Go ahead and hit save and close. So now we are done pre-configuring all our options. So now we need to go to miscellaneous general and set up the options one last time, and we'll be done. So our options will make it active. Our processing station will just say focus. Our receiving employee will just be our online employee. Our menu item exception will be online exception. Our menu item comments will be online comments. I go ahead and do our price number five for reporting purposes. Our credit card mapping, I will say online credit. Our gift card payment, I will say online gift. In our online order types, I will call it take out. And that's going to be online. Then we're going to have dine in. And the last one we are going to have is delivery. Go ahead and hit save. And we are done setting up focus to integrate with our online ordering solution. Look for other videos on how online ordering actually integrates with the front of the house and just get a better understanding of the, uh, the feel of our online ordering system. Until next time guys, stay focused.